Hello there, welcome back. This is a short video on a product that I know absolutely bugger all about. So I'm asking for your input on this one. I'm going to show you what it is, explain what it's made of, how it works, and then I'm going to ask you in the comment section just to put what you think of it and whether you'd be interested in such a thing. Now this was made by Michael, who makes the filter media for me, the Biohome media. And this stuff is described as Biohome Coral. At least by Michael, it's described as Biohome Coral. I like the idea of it, but I just don't know how far the application could go. It's basically random shaped lumps of Biohome material put into like a coral sort of configuration. Like every piece is different. And all these pieces here is approximately a kilo of media. Now, Michael's idea is, and I can see it working, his idea is that people would basically just make up their own structures, corals and polyps and all sorts to colonize. Now, I know that the material is exceptionally receptive to various cor corals and all sorts of stuff that people grow in marine tanks, but it would probably also work in freshwater tanks for the likes of Java moss. That would really cling to this. So you could make some interesting structures with it. I'll make a structure up, obviously just dry. I won't glue it together or silicone it or anything like that. I'll let you see what it looks like, make another one up, I'll let you see what it looks like, and then I'll just ask you to put in the comment section what you think and would you be interested. If you would be interested, if enough people basically, you know, share the video and put enough positive comments, this is something that we could put into production quite easily. Now, as far as the price goes, probably wouldn't be much more than a kilo of Biohome Ultimate. And for the amount you get in a kilo, that seems pretty good to me. Okay, so this is my first attempt at making little structures out of this media slash construction material. Just imagine what that would be like if it was populated with corals and all sorts of growth, you know, for the freshwater lads, Java moss. It would lead to quite an interesting structure in your tank, certainly unique, and you could make up your own structures. Yeah, man, look at this one. <laughs> what a structure that is. It looks like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, some ancient structure. Michael, you're mad bugger, you might just be onto something. I think that looks class, and you can just imagine if that was stuck together in a tank populated with either corals or <laughs> you know moss it, it would just look absolutely class you could also strap ferns on as well if you had fresh water and the fish would love to get in amongst all of that that's a good one i like that okay so this is just a very simple one i just stacked up different sizes put a little bridge across the top and i'm sure the fish would absolutely love something like that there's another one. <laughs> all just made with the same bits. You can just imagine all those stuck together in your tank, populated with whatever you want to seed on them. Yeah. Now, when Michael first described this on the phone to me, I, I couldn't really see the vision that he had. But after fannying about with these various parts, I can 100% see the vision he had. Look at that, man. You know, that took seconds to put together. And if I'd used like aquarium silicon or super glue or something to stick these bits together, that would just sit in the tank and get populated with all sorts of stuff. And it would also do a filtering job as well because every piece is exceptionally porous. In fact, I think before I finish this video, I'll just stick one of these pieces in some water. Do I have any dye? Yes, I do have some dye. You'll see how quickly it sucks the water up, so it's entirely porous. 
it'll support aerobic and anaerobic bacteria and you'll be able to just have some sort of efficient safe filtration in your tank in a form that you make up yourself and I don't think there's anybody else offering that so I can see now where Michael's coming from let me know what you think in the comments section and by all means just share this video wherever you want I think it's pretty awesome but uh, you may have different views you know now we'll take a look at just how quickly this draws up the water okay so we've got quite a tall piece here it's approximately oh what will that be three and a half inches high or about 85 millimeters just dip it into the blue water hopefully you'll be able to see it going up there yep it's just above the lip and it's climbing obviously the farther it climbs the more the hydrostatic head will affect how quickly it can draw the water up but hopefully that will illustrate that every piece of this stuff which is made exactly the same as every other piece is really really porous you've got a nation of surface area in here because it's basically made from sand and a few binding agents and a, you know maybe a few one or two secret ingredients look at that it's blasting up there and if all of those bits of surface area are accessible for the water they're also accessible for the bacteria and that is exceptionally important my fingers are starting to get wet now and they'll no doubt be going blue because it's drawn up that blue water yep that's it pretty much up well it is up to the top and that piece weighs about twice as much as it did before I started this test <laughs> have a look at that it's absolutely saturated and really if you look at that in close-up you'll see that we've put loads of holes or should I say Michael has put loads of holes in here to make the surface really rough all these little pits are places where things can colonize you know corals ferns basically anything you strap to this will grow on it let me know what you think I wasn't excited when I first started filming this video <laughs> and now I am thanks for watching I'll see you next time